Hey, so here's a popular video I made on the backhand and it was to get ready for the backhand challenge and we're right into the backhand challenge again. So if you like this video, you're going to love the backhand challenge. So enjoy this video. Go to 7daybackhandchallenge.com to sign up. We're starting very soon and I can't wait to help you improve your backhand. This is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching and enjoy today's lesson. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> okay, in today's video, guys, I'm gonna teach you how to develop some topspin on your one hand or develop some confidence in that topspin. And also, I want you to pay attention to the end of the video because I want you to sign up for my seven day backhand challenge. We're gonna do it at the end of May. We do it all together. It's a lot of fun. If you've never done one of these challenges, go to sevendaybackhandchallenge.com to sign up. We're gonna be doing it together in late May. And so let's get right into this video. I got three tips for you that I want you to think about and go out to the practice court. You don't even need a ball machine, you just get a basket of balls. That's right, we got our basket right there and you can go practice this drill today. Tip number one, grip it, okay? So a lot of people don't have the right grip to hit the most amount of topspin on the backhand. So with your grip, make sure you're grabbing on top of the racket and you're spreading out your knuckles like this. So this is the grip. Lots of people are still stuck in this grip. This is what I call a weak grip if you want to hit topspin. Somehow Macro was able to still rip some nice topspin with this grip. And a lot of the old timers could do this. I would think it'd take really strong wrists and a lot of control and a lot of these would fly on you. Okay, So this is a weak grip, really tough to hit topspin. That ball went way out. So if you're struggling, and you got this type of grip, you're gonna have trouble. So what we wanna do is we wanna put the knuckles on top, okay? We put the knuckles on top, you're gonna to feel a nice, strong power position. So I'm here, and look by doing that, look where the racket head goes. The racket head goes up. So that'll let you know you're going the right direction. So grip it, right? That's tip number one. Tip number two is then dip it, because look how high it is. If we just come here and we don't change anything, and we keep our wrist flexed up and we hit, we're gonna get topspin, but we're gonna be smashing our topspin right into the ground. That, this ball right here actually has a lot of topspin on the ball. I'm up here, boom, you see that? That's got awesome topspin on it, but it's not gonna help us win a match because we're going right in the net. So the tip number two is dip it. So we got grip it, dip it. See that right here? Okay, dipping, look how low that is. Right? The racket butt is now going out to the side fence. That's another thing. This is a power position. Lots of people keep their, their racket butt going like this. Again, you're not going to be able to get any power on it. You're going to feel all kinds of muscling, nothing going on. I'm getting topspin there, but no power. Okay? So my dip needs to be down here. Okay? The dip needs to be down here so that I can hit it. Okay? The last tip is to rip it. Okay? Just trust it. It's going to be okay. Some of these are going to fly out. In fact, I'll hit some of these out. It'll be some in the net. It doesn't matter. Because what we tend to do is when we learn how to hit toss and backhand, and I'm not saying that you always just swing as fast as you can. There's other drills too where I do want you swinging more slowly and smoothly. Like that's a pretty nice one. But I feel like in general, one handers, we get very apprehensive. I know I do the same thing. And so we tend to slow our racket head down and decelerate and the balls can tend to float and fly on us and get away from us. Okay, so, you know, that acceleration, if we don't mess up, that acceleration helps to put the ball into the court. You see that? I just swung through that and trusted it, and look what happened. Okay, the ball went over the net and in by ripping it. So those are your three tips, guys. Grip it, dip it, rip it, and then the best bonus tip you can get is now go to 7daybackhandchallenge.com and sign up for my challenge today so you can get instant access to it if you want. If you want a lifetime access membership, you get instant access to this. We're going over the one-hander. Guess what? We also got the two-hander. We got the one-hander and the two-hander. So we got it all there for you. Go there right now. Please like this video. Please subscribe and please watch our next video. We'll see you guys later. It's time to develop a backhand with massive spin and power 
without having to give up accuracy or consistency, and without having to spend hours and hours on the court every day for the rest of your life, and without having to spend thousands of dollars on lessons that just don't work. My name is Peter Freeman, and I'm the founder of Crunch Time Coaching. You may have seen my videos on YouTube where I have over 10 million views. Or maybe you've seen me interview the great Rick Macy, Gigi Fernandez, or Rod Laver with my tennis con event that features the very best coaches in the world in an effort to take your game to the next level. Or maybe you already experienced one of my online training courses. Either way, I'm just a passionate coach that loves helping totally obsessed tennis players get unstuck and get to the next level in their tennis journey. So if you finally want to know the truth from the lies and throw out all the junk and clutter that holds your game back, you've come to the right place. And after playing and coaching now for nearly 40 years, I've compiled everything you need to know to transform your backhand this year into my seven day backhand obsession challenge. You see, I focus solely on the totally obsessed adult tennis player. Players who want the latest and greatest cutting edge instruction proven to get results that local coaches either don't know or refuse to teach you. I have now helped 8,601 totally obsessed tennis players inside my training programs and I'm going to help you too. Introducing the 7 day backhand obsession challenge. And you can enroll now and join hundreds of other totally obsessed tennis players. Join me live over the next seven days to finally unlock power you didn't know you had and gain that control and spin over the tennis ball. So this is your opportunity to turn that one-hander or two-hander into a true weapon that dominates in match play. When you enroll in my challenge, you're going to unlock $1,068 worth of value. Your challenge includes a seven-day step-by-step video coaching system, a perfect practice plan, drill sheets, and live coaching and support. Plus, I'm throwing in a free bonus, my very best backhand lessons currently available only to VIP members. So if you are sick and tired of your backhand looking like an amateur and not having enough confidence to swing freely regardless of scoreboard pressure, the time is now. You've tried private lessons that don't work and cost tons of money with lackluster results. Or you've signed up for dozens of online tennis programs that just didn't work and you're ready to stop this vicious cycle of disappointment and finally learn a simple doable method that works for myself and for my students. That time is right now. Just enter your information and enroll. It's an insane $1,068 worth of value. If this is finally where your backhand transformation begins, wouldn't it be worth it?